uh, Des from Arrow Tarot here, and my sleep's really off, but when I saw this tag, I just had to jump on board. <laughs> um, this is the Thronebone Slay uh, Quartz hashtag uh, by um, Fables Dem, and Blake, I'm, I'm not that good at court cards. <laughs> Court cards are tricky, specifically, like, if maybe, like, uh, my mom's, like, asking me to kind of help interpret the cards in her reading for her, or, like, my brother kind of sometimes, it's like, you know, when the family gets together and we're all doing readings and stuff, you know, like, it's some advice from each other, and it's hard for me to explain it, um, so, <laughs> yeah, like, um, it's a great, this is like a cool way to like think about the core cards, but like not in just a, oh, like, uh, I mean, they're just like this, you know, it's like, they're like this, but like this, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> um, I know my brother also thought it was a really cool idea too, so like, later, uh, he's gonna do it too, and, do I have a piece of paper? That's not a good piece. Why is all my paper all written on? I was like, oh, I got paper right here. It's, it's all good. Okay, paper. I got paper. I'm going to, like, kind of just write the initials as I go down of, like, what cards come up. <laughs> so, like, I could, like, tell my brother, uh, what? I just want a pen. Or, uh, what actually came up and kind of, like, what I chose. Oh, let's be honest, I really just have to, have to uh, jot down what I, what came up. <laughs> um, so I'll just do that, do that as it goes, as it's going along. And anyway, basically, um, <clears throat> this tag, um, is basically like a Mary fuck kill. Although it's thrown bones, bones slay. And like, to be honest, I've never watched Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's, like... The fantasy part of it seems interesting. I'm picky when it comes to fantasy stuff, though. Although I think that was partly because of my strong dislike towards The Lord of the Rings, which I've since liked. Like, long story short, basically I was kind of forced to watch all three movies when I was younger in a row by myself, so... <laughs> then it sit well, and I kind of, like, just kind of had a dislike for, like, the really fantasy stuff. Um... But yeah, I think the main thing that turns me off now would probably just be like, I don't know, like, like some of the stuff that's in it. So like, I, I, I didn't bother watching it, so, but I'm keeping it as, kind of, kind of keeping as the throne on slide just because. The idea of, like, throne versus Barry, I think, is kind of interesting because, like, you've got the whole Mary thing, and, like, that's a form of commitment. You know, and ruling a, a, a kingdom and stuff, that's, like, another form of uh, commitment, you know. You know, I mean, they're ruling an entire kingdom. But it's in, like, a different light because you might get along really well with one person, but maybe, like, that person's personality really wouldn't be good for ruling the kingdom. Or, like, this other personality, which, like, you yourself would not get along with, would actually be really good at ruling the kingdom. So, like, I think it's interesting, <laughs> um, the difference. The only thing I am changing, though, is, um, can't exactly do the, uh, bone part. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 no. No, 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 yep. <laughs> yeah, so I can't really uh, do the bone part. <laughs> um, and I was trying to think of what I could change it with, you know, besides just hug, which usually that's what would take over the uh, fuck category in the normal one. And I was like, it's not fantasy enough, man. It's not fantasy enough. So, then I was thinking, what about Embrace? No, um, still not fantasy enough. So, I was thinking, you know, uh, change it with Spar. Um, I mean, both of them, one-time thing, physical activity. You get to, you get to learn about each other, you get to even learn about yourself, how to better improve your your performance, and they could probably probably better perform their performance as well. 
Um, also, there's a, a level of trust there as well. I mean, specifically if you're using real weapons, I mean, um, I, if I didn't trust someone, I don't think I'd want them swinging a big axe at me or something. <laughs> so, uh, I feel like that works. <laughs> um, sure. <laughs> I mean, like, all I just said in those little categories could be applied to both, so I'm gonna say it works and, uh, go on from it. So, um, basically this is the done in, done in form of a game. So, like, you take all the core cards out, you know, you shuffle them, you shuffle them, and then you do, like, three, three pulls, three, you know, and then the last one uh, ends up being four because, you know, there's 16 core cards, so there's gonna be some left over. Um, and the deck that I'm using is the Mystical Manga uh, Tarot. They're done by uh, Ran, and the text is written by Barbara Moore. I went with this one because I love the court cards in this deck. They're so pretty. <laughs> um, but also, like, I have some decks, and I was like, oh, I love that deck. Um, there's animals in the court cards, though. Not really into, yeah, anim animals. Especially considering, like, what the second category is, you know, originally supposed to be. <laughs> um, the same, like, with, like, just, you, just some other deck. And I was like, uh, nah. <laughs> so I decided to go with this one because I love all the art. For, I love all the court cards and, and for, like, how they look in this deck. So, like, I was like, that might make it more challenging as well. <laughs> so, anyway, um, one last shuffle through. Cut, cut the 16 cards and I'm going to start. Um, so the first three I've got is, okay, so I got the Queen of Wands. I've got, what's that, the Queen of Cups, and then the Knight of Wands. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So I'm just going to jot that down real quick so Andy knows later. Okay. Okay, so I got to uh, spar with one. Uh, Throne one and slay one. Um, might be easier to start with the throne. Um, who would I throne? I would want the queen of wands on the throne. Um, just because, like, I mean, like, the queen of cups, like, she's nice and all, you know, um, especially, like, with the whole, like, how intuitive she is. But, like, the queen of wands, like, I can really, like, I really like the whole, you know, like, nurturing all, like, basically, like, the flame of everyone. Like, like she's got her flame. It's burning bright. She's, like, proud of herself. And, like, but she's not, like, I'm the best, like, center of attention, you know? She, like, wants to help others with theirs. So, like, yeah, that could really uh, mess up some people's anxiety. Like, Queen of Wands, please don't do that to me. <laughs> um, but I feel like as a ruler, like, wanting, like, everyone to, to do their best, be confident, and, like, help them nurture their ideas and their creative sparks and stuff, I feel like that'd be really nice. <laughs> um, so sorry, Queen of Cups. Um, then, who would I want to spar with? Um, I feel like the Queen of Cups wouldn't even want to spar anyway. <laughs> Would she want to spar with me? I don't think she'd take it up to spar. Um, I would probably spar with the Knight of Wands. Um, it, since this is all fantasy based, I'm hoping that maybe I'm not as weak as what I am in person. <laughs> and maybe like it's um, another version of me that at least, you know, doesn't go to the chiropractor every so often. Um, probably eats healthier, um, has more energy, um, can actually open some jars. I just have that grip. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm kind of imagining at least that's taken into account, because considering I changed the topic to spar, um, yeah, at least I'm not OP, I'm not OP, so. <laughs> so the Knight of Wands, I think it would be freaking tiresome for me in person <laughs> but I think it'd be kind of fun um sparring I feel like it would just be kind of like I can really only describe it as warm I mean like literally fire like warm it'd be like kind of warm fun 
he'd be like really driven to beat me and it would be kind of like almost like competitive in a way but it'd be kind of like fun at the same time because like for him it wouldn't really be about beating me it would be about like getting to it you know so um yeah and then and then maybe while that's all going on you could kind of like in like think of what his moves might be and like maybe if i'm you know stronger than what i actually am in person maybe there's even the chance to take him down because of um being able to see what he uh does because you know wands they're they're going for it. you know they're going for it so he's going for it he might be a little bit too too much going for it um probably just run towards me with the sword <laughs> but like that kind of means that he could get some improvement as well and then i can get improvement and i feel like it'd be a fun time so that leaves the queen of cups i'm sorry you're dead <laughs> um <laughs> sorry <laughs> um i guess i'm like in the wands right now <laughs> okay so the next three i've got King of Pentacles, ooh, the, is that King of Wands, another, 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 oh, I got three kings, man, this is the King of Swords, oh, shiz, who's gonna get the throne, <laughs> oh, uh, coins and the King of Swords, um, ooh, is, I, this is gonna be hard, um, Like, I already know I don't want the King of Wands to be, um, leading. Yeah, he's gonna come up with a bunch of, like, great new ideas, but... When you're a leader, you kind of have to sit still. Specifically, depending on the, like, what kind of condition your kingdom's in, what it could be in. And I feel like the other two would just kind of do that job a bit better, like, running it kingdom-wise. Um... Oh, this is hard. Um, oh, this is really hard. I was really hoping that I wouldn't probably have to go with these two when it comes to ruling. <laughs> um, because, like, on one hand, you have logic, experience, like, he's not even gonna say anything unless he fucking knows, you know? Um... Where, like, the other one, though, it obviously knows, and he could literally, at least with, like, money, food, like, all that kind of stuff, obviously run the kingdom really well. I mean, literally, businessman, you know? So, like, he could really run something good. But at the same time, whenever I think of leading, I think of leading more as a, a logical side. Um, as long as you think of the people as a whole because like if it's logical and selfish then like no but if you're being logical but yet thinking about the people and like how their condition would be because like even that's not really even feeling because it's like you could even do that and and that would make sense like logically so like it could still work um and he'd just be so smart running the kingdom. Like, when it comes to, like, he could probably plan it all out and know this stuff too. Um, but, like, the king of coins, like, kingdom-wise, it makes more sense. So, I think throwing him the gift to the king of coins, even though if the king of coins wasn't in here, I would have given it to the king of swords. And then... For sparring, I'm already sparring with the Knight of Wands. I don't know, I don't think I really want to spar with the King of Wands. I think it'd be kind of interesting to spar with the King of Swords, actually. Um, considering, like, experience and logic, like, I feel like, although he'd probably be, like, literally, like, how the card looks, just... I feel like he'd be like that a lot, but... He could really teach me something, like really learn something here you know so i'm gonna go spar with the with the king of swords and the king of wands is dying <laughs> well that that one was a lot harder than i thought <laughs> okay so what's the next three what's the next three and the next three is 
What is that? Is that the Knight of Coins? We've got the Queen of Swords. And then we have the King of Cups. Okay, so... Throne-wise? Like, King of Cups, like, you're cool and all. And, like, you're gonna take into account everyone's emotions. But I'm fucking... I'm giving it to the Queen of Swords. Like, I love the Queen of Swords. And, like... She's not as detached to emotions as the King of Swords. I mean, she's still Swords, which is all logic-based. But, like, I like logic, you know? <laughs> Like, logic and then, like, creativity, you know, are, like, my two things, you know, I say as I'm wearing my Ravenclaw shirt. <laughs> um, you know, um, so, like, and, you know, like, and look how fierce she looks, man. Like, oh, the kingdom's under attack? She knows what to do, you know, like, oh, the kingdom's not doing well in this one area? She's gonna know what to do, like, she's gonna strategize all this, she's gonna think about it, and she will listen to others, um, She'll listen to them. I mean, they might not like what she says because she's not going to hold back. So, like, she might get some hate in the kingdom. But, like, at the same time, I feel like the kingdom's going to respect her, though. Because all of her decisions are going to end up being, like, really good ones. Um, and I would just like the Queen of the queen of Swords to be my leader. So, I'm definitely throning her. I'm definitely throning her. Um, now it's just who I'd want to spar with and who I'd slay. Um... I feel like knights in general are kind of cool to spar with. Um, yeah, I would say spar with knight of coins, and then kill the slay the the, the king of cups, um, and like maybe he's not and like and it, it would be such like a drastic difference comparing like you know more like rushing and like the adventure the adrenaline for like the knight of wands and like the knight of coins. He's gonna he's gonna sit there and he's gonna. You know, he's gonna, he's, he's not gonna, like, charge at me. Like, he's definitely gonna have, like, his, like, shield. And, like, he's gonna, you know, he's, he's gonna wait, and he's gonna see how I do, and he's gonna make sure that it's good. He's gonna make sure it's perfect, you know? Like, like, not necessarily strategizing, like, logically, but, like, kind of, <laughs> you know? Like, he's gonna wait. It kind of makes me think of, like, the Earthbenders in Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> Like, you have to wait. <laughs> you know, it's like, he'd probably be decent at, like, counterattacks, maybe. Like, I don't know. Like, it'd be like fighting an, an, an earthbender, you know? And, yeah, I'd spar with him. Like, he, he'd be kind of cool to, to learn and spar with. I, I, I like, I like him. Okay, so for the next one, which is second to the last, we've got... Oh, okay, so we've got the Page of Coins... We've got the Page of Swords, and then we've got the Knight of Cups, my favorite tarot card. Mm. I feel like Page of Swords would be, like, cool and all, but I don't think I'd really want him as a leader. Because, like, while he's taken in all those this knowledge, like, some of the cons of Page of Swords, like... I literally looked over, like, the book real quick and how, like, they interpret the court cards, um, just to kind of refresh my memory. And, like, they even mentioned, um, kind of, like, the, the more of the arrogance kind of thing. And just, yeah, like, oh, and the boredom, like, him getting bored. Like, I wouldn't want him leading, like, at all. Um, I don't know about sparring with him yet. The Page of Coins, um, like, you've got the coins, like, the material, like, he's, he's gonna go things more slower, but he is still learning, and I think it's interesting, actually, how the book described him as, um, wanting everything to be perfect to the point that he could be lazy. Which is something, like, I don't really think of with the Page of Coins, and I think that that was kind of an interesting thing. And, like, I keep thinking about it because look at that outfit. Like, that is exquisite. <laughs> um, so, like, at the same time, I don't really think I necessarily want him to lead. Um, and then you've got my favorite Thinner of Cups. Would he be the best leader? 
No, I don't think he'd be the le the best leader, but to be honest, I kind of just want to throne him just to throne him because he, the Knight of Cups is my favorite card. Like, he's just so dreamy. It's the problem, like, that he'd probably be a bit too knight in Shining Armor-ish than what a leader needs to be. Why don't I'm going to give it to him anyway? <laughs> um, who I would spar with? Ooh, I don't know why, but I kind of want to spar with the Page of Swords. Like, he, like, if I beat him, he'd probably be really pissed off, um, and strive to be better to beat me. And, like, I just feel like that'd be such an interest. I feel like it wouldn't be a spar match. It would be, like, multiple spar matches. And we'd just keep sparring. And, like, if he won, though, he'd be, like, so arrogant about it and stuff. And be like, ha, I won, kind of thing. But, like that I would strive to, like, then beat him, and I feel like that'd be kind of like a back-and-forth kind of sparring thing. We can learn a lot from that. So I'm going to I'm gonna spar with the Page of Swords, and I'm killing the, the Page of Coins. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the last one, the way that Kim did it was you can do, because you got four cards left over, you can do two into the same, into to one category. So... Still got to do one for each, and then one category can get, like, an extra one. Okay, so the last ones I've left is the Page of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Coins. Um, for leadership, out of these ones, I'd want the Queen of Coins to lead. She knows how to be freaking elegant. But also, this, that booklet actually didn't describe her as more of the, um motherly giving type it actually described the king a little bit more giving just knows what makes the biggest impact where i usually think of her more as like the mother figure of the cards she's just you know like she's caring like i feel like she'd be down to earth and she obviously you know being coins would take her time think about it and just be good with money and stuff also like I really actually liked how that book described the whole, um, she could take, like, any garbage and turn it into treasure, and, like, I feel like that'd be nice for a kingdom, so I'm definitely putting her on the throne. Um, <clears throat> so I got Spar and Kill, and I still have Throne Up, too, if I want someone else to, to, uh, Throne as well. Um, see, I like the Page of Cups a lot, but... Would he even be paying, like, I'd be like, yo, let's fight, and he'd be like, ow, what'd you do that for? I, I said we were fighting, man. Oh. Okay. You know, like. So there's that. Um, Wands, of course, would kind of, you know, be that whole thing with the, the fiery kind of thing, so that'd be kind of cool to maybe spar with him. Um, the Knight of Swords, I think he'd be good for sparring with, like, so I think I'm gonna spar with the Knight of Swords, <clears throat> and then I've gotta kill one, and then I can put another one in another position, it's between the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands, two opposite elements, um, I don't know why, but I think it'd be interesting if the Page of Cups was also on the throne, like if they were both ruling together, you could get like that more dreamy kind of side, but then like the Queen of Pentacles could at least be practical, but if he's like dreaming and stuff, he, like you could kind of take that into imagining, but you could also say the same thing about the creativity with the Page of Wands with like new ideas. <sighs> I don't want to kill the Page of Cups though. But I honestly think I gots to. I gots to. So I'm slaying the Page of Cups, and I'm also putting the Page of Wands on the throne for, like, those new sparks of ideas um, to help the Queen of Pentacles as she rules. So, yeah, that is a uh, tag. <laughs> the um, hashtag Throne, Bone, and Slay from Fable's Den. And that was really fun. I... I th I thought more about court cards than I have in a while because I've been neglecting it. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is kind of cool. I'm really curious to see what my brother thinks. Um, 
I, for instance, really like the swords, so, like, I mean, Libra, you know, swords, and I just really like the swords, too, so, and of course, you know, I literally have a thing for the Knight of Cups, so, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm curious to, to see how it would be with Annie, especially, like, he'd be using his deck, too, which, image-wise, looks completely different from this, so I'm just curious... I also don't know if he's gonna do, he's gonna change it to Spar or not. I also completely didn't write down what the other ones were. And I've already shuffled. Why do you do this, Des? Um, I will remember, I will remember. <laughs> I'll do it, I'll remember, I'll write them down and I'll remember. But anyway, yes, I'm Des from Arrow Tarot and I'm walking off. Ha, psych, I'm doing a bonus round, ha <laughs> ha. I was not going to do it if the video was too long, but to be honest, I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. So, how is this a bonus round? What am I doing for a bonus round? I'm using a completely different deck. I'm using a deck that I'm actually going to take into consideration the court cards and the characters on it. And that's my favorite, the Justice League Terra. <laughs> Why didn't you use Let's Begin With this? Um, because of superheroes and villains, and that would become really more so on the bet they're superheroes and villains. So I'm making a bonus round. Um... And some of them, I'm already thinking, die, 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 where some of them, I'm like, you shall live. You shall live and rule. So, we're gonna see, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Uh, <laughs> which ones get paired with which? Um, I'm nervous. Uh, let's see. Okay, so one, two, three. The King of Cups, which is Martian Manhunter. The Page of Pentacles, Blue Beetle. And the Queen of Wands, which is... Satana, Zatara. Um, oh no, they're all three good characters. I don't know who I'm gonna slay. Um, ruling? I actually want Martian Manhunter to rule. Um, sparring? I want to spawn, spawn with, um, the Queen of Wands, which just like how the queen of like this one was very much based on character um this one's based on like what the character actually is and also like being the queen of wands um magic um and then i guess i'll just have to kill uh the page of pentacles which is blue beetle sorry about that man okay one two three i guess we got the queen of cups i can't remember her name i can't remember her name like it all. I always forget her name. I think she's one of the pink lanterns, but I can't remember what their actual name is. I got the King of Pentacles. I can't remember his name either. But I know who it is. He's from Watchmen. Um, and then the Page of Cups and that's Stargirl. Leading us, um, like to be honest, like, I, I'm, I'm, the King of Pentacles with this, it's, it's, this one's going to be really, like, biased, kind of, because as a King of Pentacles, you'd want him to lead. But this character on it? Oh, like, he is such a King of Pentacles. But the issue? He's going to kill everyone. <laughs> so I kind of have to kill him. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, um, for, for Throne versus Sparring... I guess I'm gonna spar with the Page of Cups, and together we can we can grow. And then I'm gonna let the Queen of Cups lead. Um, Character-wise, I'm not familiar much with her character. I can't remember her name either. Um, so I don't think she'd be the goodest, best option to lead. I think she'd be better for lead. I didn't get the camera long enough to charge. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I feel like more so um, the actual like uh, card-wise this one thrown and um this one spar with okay so the next three um oh hmm like i'm killing the knight of wands and now i'm between the queen of pentacles and like, boy, I would throw you in a second. Um, although when I initially thought of this, I thought the Queen of Pentacles should get thrown. I mean, 
it's a vixen and like she deserves it. Um, but then there's Nightwing, and I feel like I'm gonna still give I'm gonna give the crone, the throne to the Queen of Pentacles. I was so set on giving Nightwing the throne, but. To be honest, like, would he be a good leader as as a Knight of Cups? No, but as Nightwing, I don't. I think he could. I think he could lead a whole kingdom. I mean, he's led the Teen Titans. He's led Titans. He's literally been Batman. You know, with Damon as his Robin. Like he can lead, as Knight. You know, as the character Dick Grayson. Um, but he wouldn't really want to lead, like, a whole, like, kingdom or anything like that. So I'm going to spar with him, and it'll be fun and great, and he could show me all of his acrobatic tricks, and just, yeah, I'm going to hang out with Nike. <laughs> um, anyway, the next three. I don't know, did a card fall? I think a card fell. No! Why did a card fall? It's gotta have fallen. Either that or I didn't pull one out of the deck. I think I missed one in the deck. I thought I grabbed them all! Yeah, I think one fell. No, he was still in deck. I just, I just kept, uh, I, I looked past him, like, three times. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm shuffling the last ones again, because I had to look through the cards. <laughs> Whoops! And then I actually do drop one! What is the odds? Anyway. Okay, so the next three... Knight of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. And I can't remember who that is. That might be Adam. Maybe. I think that's him. Um. And then, of course, I know. Uh, Knight of Swords, which he's a, a Red Lantern. Um. I know I definitely would not want to spar with her. <laughs> Even as a Queen of Swords, I wouldn't want to spar with her. Um. With the character, though, I wouldn't really want her as a leader, though, either. And I'd be fucking terrified of sparring with him, too. Um. This one's really hard. I'm going to give Lee to the King of Wands. I guess I'll spar with her. Um, and then kill the Knight of Swords. And then finally, the last four. Page of Wands, which is Dr. Fate. Page of Swords, which is Robin, Damian, Wayne. The King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, which is Lobo. And then, like, yeah, so. Yeah, it's, um, uh, Dark Side. Um, I'm gonna let Dr. Fate, this is a page of wands, like, Still a lot to grow on, but Dr. Fate as a character and, like, I don't know, like, like, he's a king, but it's dark side, so, like, the character kind of overwrites it, and the character kind of overwrites this one, so I'm gonna have that one rule. I'm definitely gonna spar with Damien. He's not dying again. <laughs> um... Then I'll I'll kill I'll kill the villain <laughs> and I'll uh, spar also with a uh, Lobo. 
and there you have it. That's the, uh, see that one didn't go as long as the other one. I was trying to go through them fast. But yeah, that was my like bonus round where I went with the characters and comic, of course. Mostly the characters, to be honest, though, because um, literally there were, uh, you know, like some villains that very much, you know, override what a court card they are. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, now the video's over. I'm Dennis from Tarot, and I'm logging off.